I mean, how can do, because having, you were in the military. Ha having been in a war, I, I'll repeat what I said to start off. The best way to make sure that none of these things happen is to not be in a war in the first place. Only legitimate self-defense is the reason for going to war. But what not sort only of training did you have as a Marine? I mean, were you given cultural Look, awareness courses? Let's not delude ourselves, all right? A any kind of training doesn't matter. When you're in a situation where you're being shot at and you're being ordered to kill other people, it doesn't matter what training you get. You're going to act emotionally. You're going to act in a way that is pure adrenaline, and you're going to commit crimes. That's so the bottom line. That they are people, are gonna rape, people are going to rape young girls. People are going to kill people in cold blood. They're going to urinate on dead people. They're going to burn Korans. They're going to do all that kind of stuff and more. That's inherent in war. And it's not just America. It's every nation that goes to war is going to have its sons and daughters do that. Again, I, this Republican-Democrat thing, all the world is a stage. Obama is a puppet. He reads the script. He's a teleprompter reader. That's his official so job. He doesn't make any decisions. Strings. The powers that be that have the majority of power in this world are those that control the financial system. The financial crisis engineered by these same criminals who are the ultimate fraudsters of the world. The Federal Reserve, the European Central Bank, those are the real string pullers. That's real power. I wish we had more time to talk about that. Well, I'd if be I happy to do it. Well, thankfully, there are those within the ranks of the U.S. military who have expressed what they really feel about the war by supporting only one candidate in America, and that's Ron Paul. He receives more funding from active duty military than all the other candidates combined. Why is that? Because he's the only one who will get them out of the hell that their traitorous governments, these chicken hawks who would never go to war themselves, have sent off American sons and daughters well, to do this dirty I'm work. No, war is out of control and those who are destroying this world by de fraud and deception is what's out of control. 9-11 was the false flag operation used to justify the invasion of Afghanistan. Osama bin Laden said directly in the aftermath that he had nothing to do with it. No case has gone to trial convicting Osama bin Laden or the so-called 19 hijackers, which, is, which includes people who were going to strip joints, snorting cocaine, and drinking booze, supposedly on a jihad. Building 7 is the smoking gun, which makes clear that thermite was used to bring down those buildings in a controlled demolition. And all of this was done by Zionists and American traitors, along with intelligence agencies from Saudi Arabia and Pakistan. It is the ultimate deception, and it's done for a full-spectrum dominance agenda, which is part of controlling this world by deception. And unless we as people stand up to these treasonous traitors and all of those people carrying out this stuff and the colluders, including the mass media and the politicians, we are going to continue to get this kind of deception. Well, and I must say, love and respect to all of the Afghani people, uh -huh. Iraqi people, and the Palestinians, and everyone else who's fighting the empire, and Sister Afia Siddiqui must be freed. Mm -hmm.